Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um, very well. Well, it's good to be here. Excellent. That's the attitude. Okay. Mm -hmm. so we're waiting still for some of the classmates, but we're going to start with the attendance pretty soon. Um, let me see. I have here. Okay, perfect. Now, welcome, Manuel. Welcome, David. Welcome, Jocelyn. And Good evening, teacher. Doris and William. Good evening, David. Good evening. Okay, welcome to the class. I really appreciate your punctuality. I know sometimes it's hard to be here on time because we have many things to do. But yes, that's what we have to do. And we're going to start the class. We're going to go with more conversational topics and more pronunciation practice. practice because, you, as you know, wait a second. Okay, as you know, we need to be speaking like you need to be speaking a little bit more than I do because that's what advanced level is for. Okay, so right now just let me check right here because I need your attendance. This is group number 23. Okay, here it is, 23. Okay, now I'm gonna, it's better if I do the attendance here because sometimes I do it from my phone. It's very difficult to do it from there. Okay, so today is Thursday. Hey guys, before we start, I wanna see something. Can you write the date on the chat? I wanna see how you write the date, please. Well, do know, what do you want to? I want you to type the date on the chat, but type it privately, only to Inglés Corporativo. I want to see the, how you type the date. The date, the day of this day. Date. All right. I want to see how you type the date, how you write the date. The date. Okay, remember the whole date, the day, the month, and everything. Okay, so I see some, hmm, wait a second. Okay, so only one, two, three, four, five people have standard. Uh-huh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. You got it right, Fernando. That is, you got it right. Okay, so when when typing the day in English, we need to do something like first is the day, right? We have the date. Then when we type the day, we have the month, and it to be capital letter, the first letter, and then we have second with the N D and. 2022 or 2022, that is the year. So this will be the correct way of typing the day in English, okay? Even though you can do it like, I know it's hard, it's fine to do it like six, two, 22, or it's just June second, it's correct. But the whole date in English needs to follow this structure, as you know. 
Thursday, and then day of the week needs to, it's a first letter, it needs to be capital letter as the month. First letter, capital letter. And then don't forget about these things, that these are the ordinal numbers. That's what we do. Okay, let's go with the attendance for this day. I want to start really quick. Okay. Axel, no, Axel is not here no more. Okay, um, sure. yes, tell me. I'm driving right now. Oh, you're here? Yeah, I'm, I'm Freddy, but I'm driving right now. Oh, no, I'm driving. I'm going uh, to be sent to my house right now. Okay, okay, Freddy. Okay, I'm going to call attendance, and if you can, please reply, okay? Okay. Okay, Andres, Giovanni, Valdivia Soportillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. David Samuel Cal Caldames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. I'm driving. Okay, yes, I know. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present, teacher. Harvin, what happened yesterday? You weren't here. Yes, you weren't. Yes, I feel bad. Okay. Kenny Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Madeline Jamilet Molina Gonzalez. Present. Okay. Manuel de Jesús Sanchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Okay. Telma Clotilde Peña Martínez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. I'm here. Okay, perfect. So we're only missing one, two, three, four, five participants. Okay, well, let's see if they connect later. Okay. We're gonna continue here. And as you know, we are doing the pronunciation practice. So my question, you already know what it is. Have you practiced the tongue twister by yourself during this day? No. Nah. Yes, teacher. Doris, yes, okay. Yes. Manuel says yes as well. Jessica was like, eh, a little bit. <laughs> So, so, Janari. Okay, so I hope that you are practicing because remember, this is for you, not for me. This is for you to improve your pronunciation. And, I, and you're gonna improve. I'm sure you're gonna do it, but you have to um, actually practice. If you don't practice and you speak Spanish most, most of the day, you're gonna relate Spanish with English very much. And here's the thing you are translating maybe most of the time here because you are thinking too much. Once you start to practice and practice and practice a lot, you will stop translating here in your mind. Because when I'm speaking, maybe sometimes I'm speaking and you hear that in English, but you translate it and then you understand in Spanish. The same way when you want to speak, maybe you translate here, you think in Spanish, you translate, and then you produce in English, which is a mistake. We need to do that switch. And when we're speaking in English, it's only English. Even we are thinking in English. It's really hard and I get it because I was an English student. I'm not a native speaker, as you know. Um, for me, it was very difficult because sometimes I even had nightmares about words in English. I had nightmares in English. You think that that's really complicated. And I thought maybe I'm going crazy. I don't know, I'm going crazy because 
dreaming and having nightmares in English, that's another level of craziness that was for me. But that was maybe the switch doing something to my mind, right? Like changing it. I don't know. It was weird. And I remember it was weird. And I almost gave up. That was my second year studying. But then it got better. So it will get it will get better for you as well, guys. Okay. Um so we're gonna practice just one more time the don twister. This is gonna be the last time we're gonna be doing that. Uh, that one specifically, because I need to go with another one. So so far we have done we did the ice cream one, right? We did the Betty Butter Bit of Butter. And we did this, we're doing this one right now, this Chisel Seashells by the Seashore. Then we're gonna go with another one that has a song, even maybe has a song. I don't know if Janari remembers it, like how much food would a woodchuck chuck? Yes, you remember it? Yeah, that one's fun, that was fun. But sometimes it's difficult. I don't know, maybe it's not as difficult as She Sells Seashells by the Seashore, but it's more difficult than Betty But a Bit of Fun, that's for sure. But it's gonna help us with pronunciation. I can tell you that. Now, right now, uh, the challenge is gonna be practice. I'm gonna give you some time to practice, but once you finish, time yourself, okay? Time yourself when saying the tongue twister and take the time. So maybe you're gonna be five seconds or something like that. For example, in my case, just to have a parameter, because I know many of you can do it better than I do it, okay? So I'm gonna start saying it. I'm just gonna time myself to have like a parameter to start from there. So one, two, three. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, I'm sure, then I'm sure, ah, you saw? I'm not a native person. I made mistakes as you, I'm gonna start again. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. It says like I did a seven seconds. Wait a second, I'm gonna do that like this. Like, oh, I don't know. Uh, oops, oops, sorry. Can you, uh, can you see it? It's seven, seven something. So I did seven seconds, almost eight seconds, almost eight seconds. So it didn't, it wasn't that good for me. Maybe it's gonna be better for you guys. So try to practice and then time yourselves. Remember, it's not about being the best of a group because you're not competing against your classmates. That's never a competition. So Manuel doesn't need to be better than David. Neither David, it needs to be better than William or Janari better than Fatima. Everyone is different. Everybody here is, you are different guys. So you need to improve and you need to challenge yourself. So you are competing against yourself. You need to be better than you were yesterday. You don't need to be better than your classmate. I don't know if you get it. So I'm trying to say, try to do it your time, not the time of your classmates. You're not gonna be like, I took 20 seconds and my classmate did it in 10 seconds. I'm the worst student. No, 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 no. That's your classmate and that's you. It's different from one another. Is that clear? Okay, yes. perfect. Sometimes I, I, I feel like <laughs> I need to see your faces because imagine if everybody had the cameras off and I'm speaking right here and I ask you, hey, is that clear? And you don't answer and you're like, so I need to see your faces. <laughs> That's why I need to see your faces so I can see if you're getting what I'm saying because sometimes I'm like, ah, this, this had happened to me. What is it? This has happened to me. Many times I have students, they don't turn on the cameras and I'm like, are they listening? Are they there? Are they sleeping? Are they eating out? Are they, uh, am I speaking to uh, uh, a living room, an empty living room, and maybe the person is in the bedroom or the bathroom, whatever, and I'm just speaking to like the wall. I don't know, it's crazy sometimes. So that's why we ask you to please turn on the cameras. Okay, so you have the tongue twister already. You don't need to take a screenshot anymore. I'm gonna give you some time to practice and take your times because I need to know David, you don't have two accounts, just one? 
I try to connect it now, but for for now, no. Okay, because I was trying to put yourself in two breaker rooms, but in the same breaker room. But as I can see, your one person disconnected. Okay, maybe she, this person doesn't want to practice. That's okay. Okay, let's go. Please join the breaker rooms. Harbin, Harbin. Hello, teacher. Hello. Sorry, for <laughs> my application soon. I don't know why. It's difficult to me into to to the meeting. Ah, uh, okay. Well, right now your classmates are working. Well, they are practicing the tongue twister in the breaker rooms. So I'm gonna send you to one. Okay. 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 Perfect. There you go.
times and Hello. the last time and, and Did then you take you... your times? Yes, 10 seconds, everyone. 10 seconds, everybody. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Hello, what are your times? Hello, what are your times? What are your times? Uh, we were scoring seven seconds. You did seven seconds, Manuel. Correct. Um, the, 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 my, my seven seconds, maybe so close to eight seconds. Okay. What about you, William? I didn't take it, really. You didn't take the time. No. Okay, okay. Take it. You need to take it. Janari? Okay. Six seconds. What is it? Six seconds. Wow, impressive, Janari. Good job. <laughs> Good job. What about Freddy's? Well, Freddy's is driving. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, Freddy's driving. Uh, okay. Kenya, what about you? I didn't know we had to take the time, sorry. Okay, take the time now, okay? Okay. Okay, good. Hello, what are your times? Oh, well, Doris just did 11 seconds. Okay. Um. Francisco, I think he's around nine seconds. Okay. Um, Erwin and I are around six seconds. Six and seconds. Andres, yeah, and Andres too. Wow, very good, impressive. Good job, guys. You beat me. <laughs> okay. Good job, good job. Thank you.
Thelma, your classmates are practicing in the zone twister. So I'm gonna send you a room to practice. Good evening, teacher. Thanks. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, hello. so it seems like some of you guys did already beat me. So you got a better puntuation than I did. Some of you got six seconds. That was the best part. I think it, it was the best scale. I think like four, four students or five students did it, that you got six seconds. So good job. That's good for you. And to the ones that got like 11 seconds, I think that was the most. To the ones that got 11 seconds, keep trying, keep doing it. That's good for you. And that's good for your level. But remember, it's, it's about speed in a way, but it's what is most important is the pronunciation. Because I can do like, I did it. 
and I can say, okay, I finished. No, I did it. It doesn't, it, it is not about that. It is not about the time and doing it fast and really not saying anything. It's about actually saying the words and doing a really good pronunciation, okay? Now, I'm gonna continue teaching ways of saying things in a more native way than, than the ones that we are used to or the ones that we know. For example, when we meet a friend and when we are together with a person, or we, I don't know, we're walking down the street and we meet with a person there. So how would you say, you say, hi, how are you? Or do you think there's another way to approach this person? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, yeah. Let's go. What's up? What's up? Kenya, what do you say? Yeah, what's up? Oh, you say what's up. I, I thought another person said something else I didn't hear. <laughs> okay, so hey, what's up? What's up is more like a more common way of saying it. Have you ever heard what's going on? How you been? What's the matter? What's the matter? What, what's the matter? Going, uh, How you yeah. doing? How are you doing? Exactly. How what's the going? matter? That what you doing also? But what uh, what's the matter is more like uh, if a person is worried and you look at them and you're like, hey, what the, what's the matter? That that will be more like if a person is down or it looks sad. Yeah, we will use what's the matter. I'm telling you this because I'm tired of the English conversations that go like, hi, how are you? My name is Maria. And my, what is your name? My name is Pedro. Pedro, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Like, what? Nobody speaks like that. Nobody. Not, nobody in the world. Like, it's, no, it, it's not. And you can be like, hey, what's up? What's your name? Ah, my name is this and that. Okay. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How, how are you doing? Or what are you doing? How you been? Or something like that. Don't use the common, like, the really basic vocabulary, no, nah, that's not gonna be good for you. Now, I'm gonna keep on teaching you um, idioms. I hope that you remember the ones that we already practiced, right? Do you remember the three ones that we practiced? Raining cats and dogs. Raining cats and dogs, yes. And that's it. <laughs> okay, William. That, well, that's that's one. I the cat got your tongue. Cat got your tongue. Cat your horses. What is it? Riding horses? No. Riding horses? No, I've never done that. No. No. <laughs> um, Riding crow. Crow. Call your horses. I don't know. <laughs> Count your, your horses. Hold yeah. your horses. Hold your horses. Yes, that's another one. I didn't teach you that one, but that can be one. <laughs> it wasn't me. Francisco, what's the one that you said? Raining cats and dogs as well? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if correct. I don't remember that. That we, we, we say that it's raining rough, sapos. No, it's raining no. cats and dogs. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's cats and dogs. Yes, that's what it is. Do you remember go the extra mile? Mm, go ah, the extra mile. Now, <laughs> yeah, right. Like, yeah. Oh, yes, teacher. The one that you're saying? Yes. Do you remember? Well, cat got your tongue, go the extra mile. And the other one was think out of the box. Yeah, think out of the box. You need to think out of the box. Those were the three ones that I already taught you. Okay, so here you have them. Cut, cut your tongue, go the extra mile, think out of the box. And the ones that you said that I taught you, but I didn't give you like a picture, it was training cats and dogs. And now, did I teach you the meaning of under the weather? Mm -hmm. No? Feeling no, no. sick or feeling bad? Exactly. Feeling bad. Exactly. Under the weather is when you're not feeling good. You're like, ah, today I'm under the weather. Maybe you don't have a fever or something, but you feel you feel bad. You feel under the weather. That's what we use it uh, for. Now, I'm going to teach you three more 
three new idioms. And this is the first one that we're gonna see. So can you please read it? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Kenya. Don't cry over spilled milk. Okay, thank you. Yes. Don't cry over spilled milk. What do you think is the meaning of this? These are, are the same in Spanish. No llorar sobre la leche de romana. Okay, so what is the meaning of it? Okay, uh, I know the whole story. Don't, don't regret <laughs> anything. Don't regret anything, kind of. Mm -hmm. When you have we a, issue. a mistake, we have to accept the mistake. Exactly. I guess. So, something already happened, crying won't solve it. Okay? So what we need to do is mm -hmm. do another thing, but crying, nothing is gonna happen. The milk is already spilled. We cannot uh, recover, we cannot uh, take it back into the carton or, or we cannot take it back into the cup or whatever. So it's, it's already on the floor. Can you please read this one, Jocelyn? Okay, teacher, let the cup out of the bag. Okay, let the cup out of the bag. So we have two, no, three, three idioms already that involve cats. <laughs> it seems like they love cats in English. Raining cats and dogs, um, cat got your tongue, and now let the cat out of the bag. Okay, so what do you think is the meaning of let the cat, the cat out of the bag? For example, stop keeping the secret. What is it? For example, stop keeping the secret. Stop that. keeping the secret, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Manuel, you know a lot about idioms, don't you? Mm, I guess. <laughs> <That's> guessing. <laughs> You're guessing. Um, yes. Okay. So, but let the cat out of the bag is actually what Manuel just said. Stop keeping a secret or in other words is to reveal a secret. So when you are with your friend and your friend is like, I know something, but I can't tell you because it's not, I don't know. And you're like, let the cat out of the bag. Tell me, tell me, let the cat out of the bag, right? That's when you use it. When you need your friend or someone to tell you. The sopa. Exactly. That will be the equivalent in Spanish. Exactly. So instead of going to someone and say, hey, tell me the secret, tell me the secret, please, I want to know the secret, and sounding like you speak Spanish, of course, you say, hey, let the cat out of the bag. Yes. So because it's going to sound a little bit more native when speaking. And the last one we have is once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. Blue in a moon. moon. Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. A ver a las 500. Yeah. Okay. Exactly, exactly. Something like that. In Spanish, maybe there's an equivalent. Do you know what it is? Cuando San Juan baja el dedo. Exactly. <laughs> oh That's the one. This is going to happen cuando San Juan baja el dedo. Or do you know those mm -hmm. students? Well, I have those students now. It's very common. Maybe not in David's case because he worked for a private school, but me that I work at a public school. <sighs> when we cannot make students to go to the school, okay? It's not an obligation. So they don't go. Sometimes I have two students that I have seen them once in a blue moon. Maybe I have seen them four times in the whole year. That's it. They don't call, they don't send messages, they don't ask for the homeworks, they don't do evaluations. They go once in a blue moon. And you know what we can do about it? Nothing. 
<laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. So the once in a blue moon, it's that many. Something that happens very, very weirdly. Something that doesn't happen every day. Like a blue moon. Have you ever seen a blue moon? I don't, I, no, I don't think no. so. I have seen red moons. Like a, yeah, red moons. Um, or mills moon. Yeah, like a yellow moon, a lot. Mm -hmm. a white moon, like all the time, it's white, almost white. And but the blue moon, so that's why it's once in a blue moon because it happens very weirdly. Okay, so we have three. Counting again, we have three. We have don't cry over spilled milk, meaning there's a problem. We cannot do anything about it. We just move on. Let the cat out of the bag to reveal a secret and once in a blue moon. It means something that happens very weirdly. So you know how to say these things already instead of saying, hey, get over it, or I don't know, it, there's nothing you can do about it. Say, don't, know, don't cry over spilled milk. That's what it is. Instead of saying, tell me the secret, let the cat out of the bag. Or some, uh, this is something that happens very rarely, or this is something that is not common to happen. You say, it's once in a blue moon. You never know, it's complicated this situation happen. Okay, I'm gonna send you to do a uh, group work that is gonna involve a little bit of time. But before we go, just because I don't wanna be like sending you and then bringing you back, we're gonna go with the attendance of the middle of the class, the class, so we don't have to come back. Okay. Um, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. He is connecting, but he has a problem, a uh, family yes. problem. He has an internet connection problem? No, oh. with, with her family, with their family. Oh, with his family? Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you for letting me know. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Present. Fred Vladimir Cortez Lopez. Harbin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina Gonzalez. Present. Manuel Present. de Jesus Sanchez Hernandez. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramirez Reyes. Thelma Cleotilde Peña Martinez. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Guías. Yeah. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay, perfect. Now, we're gonna continue with the topics. So I'm just gonna ask you, how do you know about the problem that happened to Francisco? Did, did he texted you? Mm, not sure. Because he didn't text. We are in the group, teacher, making the tongue twister, and uh, he received a call from his family, and he tell us that we need to tell you oh. about his problem. Okay. Yes. It's a personal problem, I'm guessing. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. yes. somebody called of, of, of his family. Okay. Okay, okay, it's okay. I'm just asking because I was like, I don't have any any WhatsApp. Okay, messages. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for letting me know. Appreciate it. Okay, I hope everything is okay. Okay, guys, now we're gonna go to do an, an investigation activity. So we're gonna do, do you know what is a research? Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna do a research. We're gonna go to the, I don't know, you can use Google, you can use any any of your favorite browsers. 
And we're gonna go and we're gonna search for some questions. When we finish those questions, then we're gonna search for some meanings. Let me share the screen so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're gonna do this research activity. You can take a screenshot, please. The research activity, it's gonna be, the first question is, can you please read it, Francisco? Yeah, yes, teacher, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, what is, what is a Jengap? Jengap. Jengap. Thank you. William, can you read the next Bye. one? Why are baby boomers called uh, call like that? Oh, wait a second. I don't know what happened to my computer. What? Wait a second. Okay, what are, why are baby boomers called like that? Okay. Why are they called baby boomers? Andres, can you help me with this one? Sorry, who? Andres, Giovanni, what do you use? Andres? You're muted. Your microphone is off. Now I can hear you. Okay. I'm having problem, problems with the Zoom app. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, the last one? Yeah, please. What is bridge the gap? Thank you very much, Andres. Yes, it's what is bridge the gap. And then when you answer these three questions, we're gonna look for the following meanings. The first one is liability. Second one is common ground. Fourth, I mean third, compromise. And fourth, advocacy. So you need to look for these four meanings and answer these three questions. Is the activity clear for you guys? Yep. Yes. Okay, did you take a screenshot? Is that you yes okay. okay, I can share that again. And then I want you to discuss the, the questions right. and the meanings. Okay, let me see that it needs to be in the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Please join the breaker room, guys. I'm home already. Okay, I send you the invite. Oh, no, no, no. 
Okay, I'm gonna send you to a break room, okay? Okay. Fernando?
Okay. Do you have something? Yes. About yes. Can you share by the WhatsApp? But sorry, no, by the chat, by the Zoom chat. Okay, let me try. William, what about the generation gap? Okay, um, I'll send you in the chat. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, but I sent the definition yes. of compromise. <laughs> okay, but. What is the name in the chat? Okay, so I I I I have to common ground. I guess uh, this phrase common ground, maybe we can see discrimination about any disagrees, for example, in some beliefs, not every every person is accepting the same opinion or the same uh, information in, in something. It can be politic, uh, for example, religion, or in any other terms. Uh, all the time that people disagree, not every uh, person is uh, believing the same. It can be like democratic, I guess. Okay. Come on, girl. E, 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 Kenya, uh, Kenya, baby boomers, baby boomers, mm -hmm. Kenya, Fatima, uh, mm -hmm. I sent you some of the meanings so that you can read them. Yeah, that's what I was watching right now. And, um, you sent some of that. And Fatima too. Yes. The... Hmm. Definition of yeah. to have quality of two different groups of things up in between. It's what we should fiction and serious spiritual. Baby rumors.
compromise and the other one was advocacy. Okay, we got it. We have it all of them. Let me sure we do problems once. Want. The definition of a compromise is when two sides give up some demands to meet somewhere in the middle. An example of compromise is a teenager wanting to come home at midnight while the parents wanted to come home at 10. The end of agreeing upon 11 p.m. Okay, it's okay. Compromise is when two sides give up some demands to meet somewhere in the middle. Okay, and advocacy means taking actions. Okay. Yes, yes, thank you, William. Come on ground. Okay, let, let me share it with you. Are you done? Uh, I think so. <laughs> okay. You completed the, the research and the words, yep? Yes. Okay, I'm telling you because right now when we go to the break rooms, where I'm gonna be asking the questions, okay? Okay. Perfect.
Okay, so let's do the questions round and we're gonna start. I'm gonna start asking the first question. Then to the person that I asked the first question to, it's the person that is gonna choose the next one. So I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask the same, the, the first question, I'm sorry. I'm gonna ask the first question. Then the person that I choose, it's gonna answer. And this person is, is gonna answer, ask, I mean, is gonna ask the same question to another classmate. So whoever I choose first, is gonna choose the next person. So we have the first question right here. And is, what is a gen gap? And I'm gonna ask this question to Kenya. Kenya, can you tell me what is a gen gap? Kenya? Just find me a moment, please. Mm -hmm. The first question, right? Um, do you have the answer, Kenya, or do I choose another person? So in this teacher, if you let me, I can say it because I have been searching the definition. Okay, wait a second. I'm just gonna see, wait, wait a minute. I, I will take your word, but I'm just gonna see if Kenya has it or, or, or not. So Kenya, Would she send it to the WhatsApp group or who sent it to the WhatsApp group? Mm, no, I have it. Uh, I have problems with my cell phone because I have from my cell phone. Okay. Sorry. So you um, have you have it, right? A generation gap refers to the chance that separates the belief and behaviors belonging to, to members of two different generations. Okay, thank you very much, Kenny. Now, who's the person who's going to answer the next question, Kenny? Choose Manuel. You have to... Manuel. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Manuel, you wanted to participate. So, the question can you ask the question, please, Kenny? Can you ask him the question, please? Yes, why are baby boomers called like that? Okay. Okay, um, the baby boomers, as I've been searching on Google, uh, refer to people uh, who were born during the year following, during the, the world, second world. Uh, that's the definition that um, I thought on the website. Uh, the term baby boomer um, wouldn't be used for this generation until 1963. The boomers were the largest generational groups in the United States. Uh, it's really recognized in the United States the, um, this word, the baby boomers, because you know the, the events, the, the, the second words, that's why they were called the baby boomers. Okay, so they are baby boomers because of the war? Correct, the, the second word in the war. Okay, That's thank mm -hmm. you very much, Manuel. Uh, does someone want to add something to it? It was about the okay. bombs already. 
But yes, it's true what Manuel said. And it's also because it was a it was called a baby boom. Baby boom was the baby fever, if you want to call it, baby fever that they had. So after the war, people start to reproduce as much as they could. So that's also why they are called baby boom. Because they, there were a lot of babies to, to that date. That's why my grandpa has 11 brothers and sisters, siblings. Okay, thank you, Manuel. Who's the person who's gonna answer the next question? In this case, I would like to choose uh, Fatima. Okay, ask the question to Fatima then. Okay, and uh, the question is, what is the, what is Prish, the cap? Well, a uh, bridge the cap is where is to have qualities of two different groups or things. Often, um, well, yeah, that's the definition that we have. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Is the difference between different groups or things? But to join it, right? To join them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, for example, in a in a relationship between Gen X and Millennials, there's a gap, you know, right? There's a space. But what is something that they can do to bridge the gap? Nothing. Maybe to find things in common, to look for something know that they share. What is it? Can you know each other? Know each other. Maybe they have things in common, right? Yep. So for example, this is an example that is going to sound crazy to you. And I'm not here to... Okay, so I don't like people who think that the music that you listen to it defines the people who you are, okay? It doesn't, because it doesn't. I used to have classmates that were like really educated in music and they are still in college. So I was like, eh, it doesn't show like that. But what I want to say with this is sometimes in music, people will say that it's about generations, okay? But let's think about an example right now. Do you know who Daddy Yankee is? If you don't, I don't know where you live, <laughs> but oh, no. internet very slow. Yeah, Daddy Yankee. So here's the thing. Do you think Daddy Yankee's music is only to millennials? It's only for millennials. No, right. There are some Gen Zs that like that music. There are some Gen X who like that music. So that having uh, having something they like, maybe it's gonna join the gap or bridge the gap. Okay, Fatima, who are you, who are you gonna ask the next question to? Or I mean the meaning of the, of the word. Uh, Andres. Okay, Andres. So ask the ask the well, what is and then you say the word. What is the meaning of liability? Liability, let me check. Uh liability liability is something a person or company owes usually a sum of money. Liabilities are settled over time through the transfer of economic benefits, including, including money, goods, or service. Okay, so liability meaning in terms, in simple terms, what do you think it is? It's like, uh, como un patrimonio de una compañía, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Donde se suman todos sus activos. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So assets, right? Assets, assets in English. Okay. Assets. So liabilities are assets. Do you think so? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, in a way. Okay, Andres, the next question. You're gonna you're gonna ask the next question, next question too. Okay, the next question to Madeline. But what is common ground? Okay, Madeline. Okay, um uh common ground is share interests, beliefs, or opinions between two people or a group of people. Uh, maybe they can be disagree about most of their subjects. Okay, thank you very much, Madeline. So the next and the final, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, We're ha we still have two more to go. The next question is to whom, Madeline? Um, Janaris. Okay, ask the question to Janari, please. What is compromise? Which one, sorry? She said compromise. 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 Okay. The definition of a compromise is when two sides give up some demands to meet somewhere in the middle. An example of compromise is a teenager waiting to come home at midnight while their parents want them to come home at 10 p.m. They end up agreeing upon uh, 11, for example. Mm -hmm. So that's a compromise. Yeah. I compromise to do something and you compromise to do the same. Yep. Yeah, is it? Okay, perfect. Yeah. So, Janari, the next and final one. To whom? Let's see, let's see. Erwin. Okay. Ask the question to to Erwin. Is advocacy right? Yes. What is what is advocacy, Erwin? Erwin. Are you there? Yes, sorry, I, I can I can open the computer. Sorry. Okay. I am here. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, tell me, can you repeat, please? What is advocacy? Uh, I have a question about this one because in the in the computer in Google, I can find like the lawyer, but but uh, in the in 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 the Google, I can find the other other as well. For example, the advice for the customer in marketing. Mm -hmm. This is my question about this one because advice is a, in the mini, but in the Google say about similar lawyers, but in the in the in the in the Google marketing, for example, mm -hmm. say about advice. Maybe for me, maybe it's advice uh, for the people, but I am not sure. I am not sure about advice, Advoca advocacy. Advocacy. Advocacy, yes, advocacy, yeah. Yeah, so advocacy is, both things can work in the same meaning. For example, defending someone or to giving an advice to someone. Especially it will be speaking on behalf of someone, okay? So if a person can speak by themselves, by itself, you can defend or you can speak on behalf of them. So that's why we have some advisors that are advocators as, as lawyers, for example. 
They speak on behalf of a company. They speak on behalf of a client. Yes. Okay, Perfect. So good job, guys. Now, with this meanings, yes, we have to be very careful because sometimes in on the internet, we're gonna find different meanings from for one word. And you have to be careful and choose the best one that suits the, I don't know, the, the profile that we're looking for. I ask you to do this because we are on the manual right now and we are on the page 27 and 28. And if you pay attention there, it helps you to choose or to look for these meanings. For example, baby boomers, gen X, gen Y, which they got, but you already know the meanings of this. So if you, I don't know if any of you have the book printed, but if you have it printed, try to fill up these things right here. So you know the meanings there. And there on page 28, we have this one, liability, common ground, compromise and advocacy. So you can fill here the information in these places, okay? So now, I would like to do an activity, but I don't know if any of you have ever played Kahoot. Yes, teacher. teacher. Yes, teacher. You mm -hmm. have? Yes. 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 No. Yes. Access like with an account and password. And we play through uh, through the um, internet. Yes, the, you, you the only one, need the correct answers is the winner. Yes, exactly. That's what it is. So I'm going to send you a link. So you get there, write your names. We're going to do just that, an activity right now. You have to write your names. Your names are going to appear here. Try to do it as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> Who's okay, go? Holly? You don't want to write your real names? No, because it's a battle. <laughs> you're gonna feel, oh, so you're Oli. No, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, go. Well, now we know. Serena, who's Serena? <laughs> you don't wanna write the names, huh? Someone can share the link. Yeah, it's there. It's, it's here in the chat. Thank you. Uh -huh. And we have 10 students of 16. Yo soy tu padre. What? Manu Sanz, Serena, Lol. So if you're winning, we, we, we won't know if that's you. Aha, that's a problem. You see, the scene, the scene in Kahoot teacher is that the question is in the screen that you are sharing. And in the, no, in, in my case, no. no. In my case, no, you can- You can share you, both. Both yeah, the you question can see. and the, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's there. It's, it's gonna show there on your, uh, on your screen. Yes, yes, it's because there is a, a new option of the Kahoot. Yeah, tell okay, me. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Can you please send the link to the WhatsApp chat? Please. The only problem with that is I don't have WhatsApp on my computer. Can someone um, share it, please, guys? Okay. Can some can you share it, guys? Yes. Please share yes. it in the WhatsApp group. Right now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna start in one, like right now, like <laughs> please 
go ahead. I'm going to start in a couple of seconds because we need to start. Otherwise, it's going to take a while. Okay. You too. So please try to get there. Okay, we're gonna play now because it's time already. So if you're not there, I'm sorry. It's an easy topic, regular and irregular verbs. It's easy. Se acuerda que vamos a contestar. Hey guys, you have to answer from the Kahoot link. Así que no estén en Zoom. <laughs> if you're on, on the... Oh. On the... <laughs> oh <my laughs> because God. I guess that what was happening. No, no, no. It's not here on the, on the screen because I saw many of you like doing this and it's not there. <laughs> you have to go to Kahoot, okay? Okay, okay let's go. Is there? <laughs> what? It's the past. Just remember, it's the past. What? This is this is this is basic. What, are, what is happening? Oh, what is happening? Why doesn't show any points? Why doesn't? What? What's happening? Let's try one more time. Uh -huh. If it doesn't work, we're gonna leave it there. I don't know. Last October, I. is not showing the points that you're getting. Why? Let's see this time. Well, everybody got it right. Well, the ones who answered got it right. Let's see. Ah, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that it won't show the points. No, it doesn't. Oh my goodness. No, I'm gonna end the game. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm not gonna, gonna see. Let me see. Preguntas, configuraciones, soluciones. I don't know. Yeah, look, but it's showing the podium. It's weird. Look. It's showing that like this. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe we're going to play another time, but it's showing that, like, like you did win. I don't know, <laughs> it, it, it got weird, it got really weird. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna close it. Ah, we don't have more, more, we don't have enough time to play another one. So we're gonna do an activity like this in another class maybe. Okay, so let's go over the idioms that we saw. The first idiom that we saw, tell me please, Manuel, what was it? Use a review, a quick review. The first question about Yahoo. No, I'm asking about the idiom. We're gonna do a review. What was the first idiom we saw today? Uh, okay, let me check. Uh, when you uh, share in the, in the class, correct? Yeah. 
Let me check. Has something to do with milk. Ah, the, I got it. The, we had to kiss the, um, the, the phrase, for example, uh, don't cry or milk, don't something like that. cry over spilled milk. Or is correct, over spilled milk. Okay, thank you very much, Manuel. And what was the meaning of that, Harbin? Don't feel regret. Okay, okay. What was the second one, David? Uh, um, don't cry over the spilled milk. Uh, you talk about. No, the other one. No, no, I'm asking. Cry. You. I'm asking you. Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue last, moon. Well, once in a blue moon. Okay. And what is the meaning of yes. once in a blue moon, Fatima? Uh, that it happened really not so often. Okay, not so often. Very good. And now, well, let's see, let's see. Janari, what was the other one? It was let the cut out of the back. Excellent. And what was the meaning of that, Erwin? Yes, teacher, sorry. What is the meaning of let the cut out of the back? Okay, the, the different, okay? The different. The meaning? What what does it mean to say to let the cut out of the back? Cut out, cut out of the back. I don't remember this. I don't remember. <laughs> it's okay, don't it's worry. Okay. It, it's okay. Uh, let me it's see on. if someone can help you. Right. Manali. What was the meaning, oh. Manali? About the one. <laughs> to let the cat out of the bag. Uh, it's related with uh, tell the secret. Tell the secret. It's true. It tell the secret. Okay. I'm just going to go over the people who are weren't here. So Blanca wasn't here. Marlon wasn't here. And the other ones are here. Okay. Perfect, you guys. Now, um, you can go and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye.